Right about now, let me just take this opportunity now to invite the Apostle Morris who has joined us today. Sir, how are you? Very well. Yeah, you're welcome to JC Circle. Thank you. Thank yes. you. So, yes, thank you for finding even time to come here. Just to engage with us in this conversation. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. God uh, is faithful? All the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> and all the time. <laughs> that is his nature. He's good <laughs> and that is his nature. All right, sure. all right, all right. What is God saying? What is God saying? What is God speaking to you in this season? Hmm? That uh, he is with his people. Mm -hmm. And as you rightly put it, mm. my ministry is by the name, the voice of God. Yes. And every time I get a chance, I air out the voice of God to his people. Mm -hmm. God himself is love. Mm. And so everything my ministry is all about is about putting love into motion. Yes. That is preaching gospel, not in a condemning or judging mm. manner, mm. but helping people to understand the character of God. Mm. Because man cannot survive without God. And as ministers of the gospel, we have a duty, an individual duty to make people understand God. All right. <laughs> Let me just, sorry to cut you at that it's point. Okay. But we need to also to get to know you as well. Oh. Apostle Morris, and also take us through your journey of now, even the journey where there is, you've done a few music, uh -huh. now to the journey of being called to be an apostle. Sure. Let us get to know you first. Thank you. Mm. Many a times I forget <laughs> introducing myself. <laughs> and that's because of the nature of my ministry, because yes. I don't like the idea whereby when I get a chance, begin telling a lot about me. <laughs> I have a lot of to tell about God. Mm. So because <laughs> 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 the modality, <laughs> let me honor. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, Maurice, mm. Maurice Musioka or Joroge, mm -hmm. I will tell the reason why two names from two different communities in yeah. Kenya. Yes. My mom is a Kamba, my dad is a Kikuyu. Mm. Mom from Kitui, dad from Moranga. After being born, I was given the name Morris Joroge, son of Mongai. But my parents parted with when we were young, and so we took refuge in Cumberland. Mm. There, to minimize stigma, uh, granny gave me Musioka, mm -hmm. and my other siblings were given other names. So I came up knowing Musioka is my name, and it mm. entered into uh, your ID. Yeah, my ID. Mm -hmm. is, uh, so Musioka is my legal name, but my maternal name is Joroge. So Joroge pia iko kwa ID. No, no. Iko kwa ID. But I'm thinking of incorporating it so that those who know me as Joroge eh. will not uh, bash me out as an imposter. I'm the same as <laughs> Musioka. <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh -huh. going to the ministry, yes. I'm a born-again Christian, mm. and I'm a disciple of uh, one mm. televangelist, uh, Pius Moiro, of mm. Maxima Miracle Center. Mm. He's a great father. He fathered many. Mm. He's a and, father uh, of the land. We yeah, honor he him. Is. Thank He's you. a great father of this land. <laughs> Nani I, wanakumbuka ile? Kuna nuru gizani every <laughs> Sunday on KBC. <laughs> I would have missed that. Sure, sure. How we honor that man of God. Sure, mm. he was mm. a voice to reckon with mm. back then. And he remains anyway. Mm. And uh, now, I got into the ministry back in the year uh, 2000. That's when God called me in the ministry. And I went through divine training, mm. which is a harsh one. And in 2004, I got the blessing of the man of God where I went to Nakuru yes. and began a church. That is Maxima Miracle Center in a place called Bahati. Mm. Anyone from Nakuru watching? We know Bahati. Bahati Center. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> you remember, mm. 2003 through 2007. Mm. And... Uh, oh, now, mm. I must to tell about my journey in the ministry and in the music mm. ministry. Mm. So in two or three, let me get this straight. Uh -huh. In 2003 to 2007, you're doing ministry in Nakuru Bahati. 20, 2004 through 2007. 2007. Yes. All right. Then why did you stop at this point? Did you go somewhere else? Or you... You got another calling. 
I wanted to hey. uh, not talk about what happened, but mm. because she asked, mm. I'll rightly uh, tell what happened. Mm. My bishop launched into politics and uh, preaching in those areas became problematic because uh, people told me, given your boss is vying for the big seat, it seems you're going to vie for an MP mm. <laughs> and we have our own. <laughs> so the people I had uh, did not take it lightly. And so the pron our bishops launching into politics did not augur well, did mm. not sit well with our washirikas back there. Mm. And so I decided to step down, came back to Nairobi. After coming back to Nairobi, I joined my bishop, partly as his PA, that is uh, when he was at Audion Cinema, mm. and continued. And uh, from there, we've been blessed. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a music, there's a music I've done, yes. and the one that I'm going to possibly be presenting, yes. I don't know, presenting or yes, performing. performing or <laughs> ministering, <Yeah. laughs> yeah. whichever is applicable. I got that revelation back in the year 2004, mm -hmm. but I entered it, I went to studio for it and others in the year 2016. Mm. And uh, it was uh, a For me, getting into the ministry of singing mm. was, it was like uh, a, either, I don't know, I'll say by chance or an A or B. I don't know how to put it because <laughs> mine is preaching. <laughs> However, <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Because uh -huh. I want to confidently call myself a singer. Yes. Because any time I'm given a message to minister or to preach, mm. at the tail end of it, if you play me music, uh, musical uh, instruments so mm. nicely, mm. I'll end up having a tune or two. Mm. Whereby if I follow it up, I'll make a song out of it. Mm -hmm. And uh, back in the year 2004, the reason why it took too long, yes. after getting the Mwana Mpotevu mm. uh, tune, it was out of a message I preached in Akuru. Mm. And after being given the, the, B or else the tune mm. and knew what it was going to be, I didn't know uh, how to compose it to become a song. I tried contracting people to help me in it, and every other person I knew were good went giving me stories why it was not possible and they were busy. Mm. But in the year 2012, God began giving me revelation, matters, composition. Mm. And I realized that I was, I think, one of the best. Today, if you give me a tune, and give me some time, I think I can uh, compose anything. So yes. it became so easy for me to compose because when I went to the studio, uh, my producer was very annoying because I was not used of uh, being micromanaged and told what to do. I thought I was the boss and he was to play what I wanted mm -hmm. and the tune go the way I wanted. Mm -hmm. But he was like, uh, here we are after professionalism other than uh, your ministry. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he would require me to do some adjustment. And uh, in less than five minutes, I would be through and done. And anything that required a change, I changed. Mm. That's the journey. That's the journey. All right. Yes. Now, talking about Mwana Mpotevu, that yes. is your song. You're talking about the prodigal son. Yes. Now, in line with our discussion today, uh -huh. the prodigal son yes. returns home. Now, there's this big brother. Uh -huh. He's like, Z, Z, because I know generation here too. Mm. No? Z, um, say, apana. Um, say, we know their past. Mm. Yeah, why are they claiming they are born again? Then they want to preach to us. Mm. But you know, one thing about uh, the, the, the lady here, Michelle, uh, she shared uh, a sermon that uh, Pastor Timwangi shared during Rema Fest, mm. where we say, we are going to use our scar to preach to our generation. Amen. And she was like, I have a scar. My sky is my past. Mm. I'm using it to now reach out to the LGBTQ um, community. 
that you need Jesus. But us who are the big brothers are not giving her that chance. Mm. Like, Z, uh, uh, there's no way that you can be preaching to us. Mm. Now, speak to that big brother. Wh Thank you. What is wrong with our minds? What is wrong with our minds? Uh -huh. uh. Dear viewers, <laughs> uh, I would want to make you understand one thing that many people don't know. Mm. Maybe, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Bible clearly mm. states that the race is not for the swift, neither is the battle to the strong. I'll make you understand where I'm coming from so that you understand where we are mm. in uh, yes, response to yeah, my about? sister's question. Yes, yes. People tend to think ministration of the gospel is done by people who were holy from the word go in order for them to bring this holy word or holy ministration mm. to the world. And if you take a look at to the holy scriptures, you realize that God has wanted to use the blunt pangas or machetes to frustrate the sharp ones. He always used people that were termed as nobodies. Ama kwa kikuyu tunasemanga kada siya moko, kada ya moko. We used to, in my days, we used to use KYM. <laughs> the so-called nobodies, change them and use them for his own glory. Whereby nobody can beat his uh, thorax, ama chest, and say, I did it because of my good education, because of my good upbringing, because of where I schooled in some school, in a group of schools. A yeah, group of schools, uh, <laughs> polling stations. Uh, you get it? <laughs> <laughs> but if wanted to use people who have got a very uh, bad past. So, having done so many bad things and then one is converted and begins sharing the good news of the kingdom that is that does not stop that, that, i don't know how to put it because i want does to, not hinder the word does not hinder yeah i don't know whether I put it in swahili so that yeah, people understand it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sheng, i may not be very good in <laughs> back in our days we was uh, into kiswahili mufti kiswahili <laughs> sanib <laughs> Ha, haijalishi ama haikuzui kufika unako elekea. Biblia inasema sisi ni mawe ya kujenga nyumba ya kebwana. We are building a spiritual house. A stone is hewn or uh, what do you hmm? Tunasema na mna gani kule kungolewa kule. Approaching. Inangolewa kule ikiwa shapeless. A stone. Ikishatolewa kule, it is purged. To purge is to cut the unwanted parts so that this stone can be legible. So that it can lock well with the rest. Mani natoka kule ikiwa na kimugongo kwa upande, chini, wapi, so inakuwa dressed mm -hmm. or purged. Mm -hmm. Thereafter inakuwa inahusika kutumika vizuri. Mtu akisha toka katika unywaji pombe, katika ukahaba, katika LGBTQ mm -hmm. ama gayism whichever, etidata mchawi, mm -hmm. mtu huwa ana Biblia inasema hivi, ukipita kwenye maji mengi hayata kugarikisha Ukipita kwenye moto, hauta kuchoma kukuangamiza. Mm. Because a gold, gold mm. is mined somewhere beneath mm. the ground. Sana mm. sana kwa milima. Mm. Wakati natoka kule hutoka na matope. Yanapitia kwenye majimengi iosho matope ya ondoke. Mm -hmm. Kisha baadae inatolewa pale, inapitisho kwenye moto ili mawe yaliokuwa miaka nyingi na hii gold mm -hmm. ya chomeke ya ondoke 
gold ibaki ikiwa pure. Alafu sasa gold inatwaliwa kutoka pale inatiwa kwenye moto mwingine wa kuiyeyusha so that you come up with a ring so that you come up with a necklace so that you come up with a cup or any other instrument or vessel of honor. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. So past ya mtu isi isiwatishe mm-hmm. msikilizeni mtu na ujumbe alio nao mm. lakini msijalishwe na past ya kwake mm. now yes <laughs> for you ministers and especially my dear sister the one you mentioned yes. michelle yeah. she should not worry yeah. about what people are saying thank you people will not always clap unto you <laughs> People will try bringing you down. Mm. And many of those who try bringing them down or bringing you down, they are positioned there by the devil yes. with the target of bringing you down. Yes. What you're supposed to do, you're supposed to focus on to the one who called you and don't mind what you are seeing or what you are hearing. Focus on to the reward. Focus unto Jesus, the one who called you, mm. and you're going to make it. Mm. Take a look at Paul. Yes. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 9, yes. verse 1 through 16. Paul was persecuting the church. Mm. And persecuting here, to turn it down or else to make it uh, understandable, he was killing those who called Jesus name. Yes, I'm going to point kwa mta. Yes. Kwa mta alikuwa na uwa mtu yote mnyana sema mwokoka. Yes. And you know what he was doing? Mm-hmm. I under, I know people don't understand who Saul was. <laughs> Saul was not killing to kill, uh, just killing. Mm-mm. He was not killing people just like that. Mm-mm. Bible says he was a student of Gamariel. Gamariel was a Pharisee and uh, mm. a professor, mm. a very learned fellow, Matas Judaism. Mm. And he had been groomed to become a Pharisee. Who mm. was a Pharisee anyway? These were doctors of the law, the law of Moses, Mosaic law, Amatola. Sawa sawa. Ni mtu alikuwa amesoma vizuri akamaliza. Vitabu vyote anaelewa msa walianzana na mungu wapi alizaliwa vipi. Alikuwa najua mambo ya kumtolea mungu inafaa kufunzwa vipi. Mambo ya ubatizo hizo vitu vyote. Sasa anybody that contradicted that word. Bible says he would go to Jerusalem to the high priest's office. Get an execution order. And once he got it, he was to do two things. <laughs> he arrests you, bites you, takes you to the Sanhedrin, uh, to that uh, commission to be tried and later uh, uhukumiwe kufa, or you be beaten according to the law of Moses. Tuko pamoja. Mm-hmm. Now, everything, everything to do with the Jesus seemed to contradict part of mosaic law mm-hmm. and what was the part they believed that god would not by any chance have a son <laughs> so coming mm-hmm. up with a notion or ideology that jesus was born of mary and then uh, mary and joseph mm-hmm. and then he is not a uh, hundred percent a human being he is a hundred percent god they did not understand that revelation mm-hmm. and for that reason he uh, working on behalf of Judaism began killing Christians. Bible says on his way to Damascus, going yes. to kill, going to maim, going to arrest, God met with him. He received a divine slap. <laughs> Alichapwa coffee because hawezu kaniambia muangaza, unaweza gonga mtu kutoka kwa punda anguke chini. It was a divine slap. <laughs> akaanguka chini kuanguka chini aliuliza swali sasa eh, wewe ni nani eh bwana and this was after god or jesus asked him a question Saul, why are you persecuting me yeah and the uh, bible says that Saul answered who are you my lord who are you my lord 
Mm. From there, he was given on what to do. He was to leave there, go to Ananias. There, mm. Aelezwe, Taratibu, mm. Zawakovu. And there, so, he received, sorry, there he received his sight back. Yes, he, he did. He because received, of that slap, yeah. Aliondoka Pale Haoni, <laughs> after receiving blind. his sight back, yes. and he was with mm -hmm. that muse by the name Ananias. A simple by, disciple. Yes. Yeah, sorry to cut you, but a simple <laughs> disciple who prayed for him, sure. and he received his sight back. Yes, sure. Yes, yes. He did. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, because after receiving now, mm -hmm. his sight back, mm. Bible says, Ananias went and announced to people, now Saul is a changed believer. He believes what we believe. He is going to preach like we do. We do he, preach. He is going to speak in tongues like we do. Mm. He is a changed man. Mm. Nobody believed him. Mm -hmm. They went saying, mm -mm. he is here to investigate our worship. Mm. He wants to understand what time we meet exactly. so that he can sneak it back to his uh, mm -hmm. uh, Judaism people, people. <laughs> get a letter, yeah. come back persecutors. <laughs> so, because he had come up, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm going to pick a story of Jabba. His own story of Jabba. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. You will never believe him. But look at what Paul did. Paul achieved great, great, mighty things. He did. You can see that he, read, he wrote most of the books mm. in the New Testament. Sure. Eh? So he never gave up. Mm. So the point is that Paul never gave up. Sure. Whether people believed him or not. Mm. He, him, he met Jesus, mm. lost his sight, he received mm. it back. People mm. criticized what he was going to do, but he still went ahead and did it. Sure. Yeah. Now, uh -huh. there is something people don't understand. Yes. This is where I want people like Michelle to understand. Okay. Paul has been transformed. People don't believe him. Mm. That's all we know. Paul, and what many of us don't understand or don't know, mm. he disappeared mm. from the public mm -hmm. for three good years. Mm. He went into the wilderness. Yes, God took him yes. to himself. Yes. Nurtured him, mm. washed him, mm. purged. You remember the purging? I was talking about yes. that chisel in the unwanted areas. Mm. He was purged for three good years. In that time, yeah. Yeah. God gave him revelations. Remember, mm. Paul was a doctorate. In a, he was a doctor. Alikuwa mesoma. Alikuwa mekula vitabu vizuri. Alikuwa mesoma and he was also a tent maker. <laughs> yes. Yes, now because of time now, maybe we can just oh. summarize the story. <laughs> <laughs> time we may shatter. No, time moves oh. very fast on TV. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. Now, mm. Paul, three years, mm. was equipped by God so mm. that he could now face the world, face mm. the challenges, face everything without minding. And uh, from those three years, he was able to face the world with confidence. Mm. Today, mm. my sister, if you do not have God's backing, if you are not deeply rooted in God, if people begin speaking against you, you're going to backslide. Mm -hmm. You're going to lose base. You're going to lose focus and begin answering them. Mm -hmm. If they talk to you, divert their attacks to the one who mm -hmm. called you and mm -hmm. he's going to protect you. Hallelujah. Thank Amen. you so much. Now, I'm even reminded of the story of Omani. When she got born again, she did not announce it. She mm -hmm. took some time back. She even went to Bible school to learn about God. Mm -hmm. Then later on, maybe one, two years then later she came back and said that, you know what, God, I've met Jesus, I'm now born again. Mm. So withdrawing and going back to the wilderness is, is really good. Sure. You, you brought in that aspect and I'm really liking it. Withdrawing, going back to the wilderness, mm. being equipped and also growing your stature. To mm. appear, Jesus ali, ali disappear from the age of 12. Yeah. Aka show up at the age of 30. Sure. That period, he was going through that wilderness and being mm. trained so that Niko are ready for ministry. Amen. So even when the words, Zikikuja, you're being abused, left, mm. right, center, and people are not believing you, mm. you have stature. Yes. Sure. You have stature to handle such kind of accusation. Mm. You are not afraid. Very good. Amen. Apostle Morris, yeah. we really appreciate that you came in today. Thank you. We really appreciate for the word. Mm. Maybe because of time, mm. just lead someone to salvation 
today. Someone is watching you and have been blessed by the word. Amen. Sema, ah, si apostol pia ni ombe pia menioko, nioko oke. Okay. Sure. Ombe jama nitaka kuka, sai, sai. Then you'll come back and mention your social media handles. Pleasure. Mm. Mm. Uh-huh. Here, here. I'm uh, happy that I've been accorded this uh, time to lead uh, people unto salvation. There is no other name given to man for salvation. For Bible says that they that shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. This is the time. I want you to repeat after me. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus I come before you. I have realized, realized my sins. I repent them I repent and leave them. them. From today on, From today, lead me. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. From today, I'm born again. I'm going to go God's way. Lead me on to paths of righteousness. In Jesus' name, I pray. Let me pray with you. For I believe you are now born again. From today, leave uh, people, bad uh, company that you're in. Begin going to church and uh, hanging around with born again people and the Lord is going to stand with you. Everlasting Father God Almighty, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I want to commit this sister, this brother before you. Stand with them, bless them with a divine blessing. Let them maneuver through this challenging world in your salvation. In Jesus' precious name this we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You are now a fully fledged Christian, God bless you. May God lead you to a, a believing church. Yes. A church believing uh, that teaches the doctrines of Jesus Christ. And may you never lose salvation. Amen. I usually pray for you that your salvation shall never be hijacked, snatched mm -hmm. away, or you will never lose it. You will still stand to salvation. Moses. Ju Moses na pendanga Moses wa Bible. Ni mechil pale na Moses na be ah Miriam. Mwaze, mm. yeah? Mm. All right. Okay. Thank you Apostle Maurice. Maybe you can just mention your social media handles na also YouTube because you've mentioned utatoa songs zingine. So social media handles na YouTube channel yako inaitwa aje. Aya. Uh, Uko social media ni uh, yenye uh, melod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now beginning to doubt if you're on social media. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what you want to do? 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 Hey, what you you R I C E M U T A N Y U. That is Morris Mutanyu uh, music. You will find uh, my music there. Mm. There is one Swahili song known as Mwana Mpotevu and uh, many Kikuyu songs. There are seven of them. Mm. If you know that language, you can enjoy it. If you don't know, you can still enjoy the music. Mm. And uh, uh, on uh, Facebook, yes. you find me through uh, Grimo. MC, I don't know MC Grimo, I don't remember. <laughs> I've not been so much into social uh, platform, yeah. but from this coming week, mm. uh, my media team will guide me on how to go about it because I want to reach Akina Gen Z's who I know that is how to get them. <laughs> Thank you. But meanwhile, mtu anakupata aje sasa? You can find me through my cell phone. Mm. May, may I give it? Yes, uh -huh. yes, feel free. You can get me through um, plus mm. 254 mm. 724 665 009. I'll repeat 0724 665 009. There you can write your message via WhatsApp. Uh, or a uh, text message, I'll answer to you. Any topic, any question you have about salvation, giving, any question, uh, uh, I'll answer you as the Lord will uh, guide me. Uh, shalom, shalom. Amen. Thank you. Salamia watu, Apostle. Salamia watu. Uh -huh. Appreciate watu pale. 
Tuma salamu za TV. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, not very used. And, uh, <laughs> you know, we are used to preaching with a lot of audience. So <laughs> but uh, all the same, mm. thank you so much for uh, being graceful. To be listened is a miracle. Mm. And getting feedback on the same is also a bigger miracle. So thank you so much for listening. Uh, thanks so much for, I believe you're going to begin praying or you've been praying for this program. So mm. continue doing the same and God richly bless you. Bible says, blessed is the hand that gives than the one that receives. But mm. if, you, if you take a look at the same, they are both blessed. Mm -hmm. Giving here, I don't mean giving money. I was giving the word and you are the receiver. So you are blessed receiving and blessed giving. And uh, may God reach